when texture painting in 3D Coat, you may have previously thought that it's more of a destructive workflow than what you might be accustomed to in other texture painting applications, but in actuality, 3D Coat has some powerful options to make quick adjustments to the textures applied to any given layer. One way we can make quick adjustments is to go to the textures menu and choose adjustments to which we can then choose different types of adjustments just like we would in Photoshop, such as hue, saturation, and lightness, brightness and contrast, gamma correction, and so on. And as a side note, Photoshop style adjustment layers is on the to-do list, so you can keep an eye out for that in the near future. With that being said, when applying a smart material to a paint layer, we have the flexibility to make rapid modifications to the material at any point. We can also sample or experiment with different smart materials on a given layer, and those will be stored in the materials history panel. As you will see momentarily with these multiple samples, stored in the material history panel. You can quickly switch back and forth between the different samples and a good setting for that might be when you have an art director or a client trying to choose which material they prefer best. One major benefit to having an attached smart material is that 3D Coat will store the highest resolution of the smart material in memory, but you have the flexibility of working in a much lower resolution with a much smaller UV map initially while you're working, but when you are ready to export, then 3D Coat will allow you to upscale your UV texture map and have it reproject that high resolution smart material onto that newly scaled UV map. Nevertheless, let me now show what is currently available by attaching a smart material. Okay, so what I have here is a layer where I have already applied a smart material using the fill tool. I'll replicate that here in just a moment, but I wanna quickly show you that I can select a smart material and with the fill tool, I can click on the object or I can use a brush tool to apply the textures by strokes. And once it is applied, I can click on other smart materials and sample those. And then in the material history panel, I can quickly switch between those different samples. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Wherever I have applied paint on a given layer, these samples will also be applied to that area. Let's click on a few smart materials in the material history panel to see how quickly you can switch between them. Each of these have individual adjustments made to their respective smart material. Let's say if I wanted to make an adjustment to this one, I can right click and choose Smart Material Editor. I won't see interactive adjustments while I'm making modifications in the Smart Material panel unless I have the Material Preview panel hovering over that area. Now when I make adjustments, I'll see the changes applied temporarily within the Preview window. So you can see if I make a, a broad change here, it's not yet applied. I'm only seeing the change in the material preview window. It's important to note that if I need to make any changes to the placement or scale of the texture maps within the smart material, I need to temporarily detach the material and then I can reattach it once I'm done. So I'll click save. When I click save, it's applied those changes. I don't have to reapply it with a brush or with a fill tool. Once more, when I click the save button, the changes are automatically applied. In order to detach material, we want to right click on the thumbnail and then choose detach material. That will now remove the thumbnail we saw before of the smart material.
One reason for the detachment is that any position or scaling changes we make to a texture map within a material will be automatically applied to the other smart materials as well, and we may not want that. So I'll go back to the smart material editor, and I'll use my material preview panel again. And this time, Let's click and drag on the zoom icon in order to scale up or scale down the image. Let's say I like that. I can click save, which will automatically apply those changes. And with that, we will conclude this demonstration of tools in 3D Coat that allow artists to make quick adjustments to paint layers and smart materials applied to those layers. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.